I'm really interested in having a conversation about Bill 21, about the alt-right, about the growth in hate crimes in this community, and what the various parties think about that. You know, the problem we got is, and you've alluded to this, we have this, what most people would regard as a racist policy in Quebec, a ban on religious symbols and clothing, and yet our federal leaders are barge pulling away from taking action to fight it right now. Doesn't that tell you something? Even the guy who wears a turban, right? And yeah, yeah they, mumble these, they mumble these platitudes about, oh, that's not nice, you know, we shouldn't do that. And they're, they're very calm about it. And then where they're super forceful, to be fair, except for Prime Minister Trudeau, is in saying, well, we're not actually going to do anything about it. Because you know, Don, I remember mm -hmm. my poli sci 201 classes. There's stuff the federal government can do. The federal government has the constitutional power to disallow provincial legislation. They have the power to reserve it. They have the power to do what Lyndon Johnson did in the United States to states that didn't believe in civil rights, which is withhold federal funding. There is a whole suite of things they can do in addition to uh, supporting the court challenges. And I want to hear people say they're going to do that. You know, I, I'm on some uh, a couple days of meetings down here, and as I tell people, do you know we now have a law in Canada that restricts what job you can have based on your religion? <laughs> they think I'm kidding, right? It's horrifying. <laughs> yeah. You know, a, a Muslim man with a beard can just say, hey, I'm a hipster. It's not about my faith and have any job. But a Muslim woman who wears a headscarf can't. If she's in a job now, she will never be considered for promotion. I mean, this is crazy. And the fact that our political leaders are so worried about the votes in Quebec that they're not asking themselves the question, why is this popular in Quebec? How has my right. job as a leader made people think this is okay? To me, that's a big problem, and it's across all of them. And do you think, <clears throat> excuse me, racism is going to be a topic during the campaign, but once the voters have locked in their decision, it'll just go back to being what it was before? Well, I'm hopeful. And, you know, I, I see some coded language in what uh, Mr. Trudeau is saying around it would be counterproductive to intervene now. I mean, what that says to me is if he were to win the election, he's ready to intervene later. The other two have been much more categorical, saying this is not about us. And you know, when I hear them talk about provincial rights, I think of politicians in the United States who talk about states' rights, which frankly is code language. And it's not good enough to say, well, we would never enact that at the federal level, but it's okay for 20% of our population to be treated differently because of where they happen to live. It's time to take a moral stand, and it's time to stand up for what's right. And let's remember that back in 2015, there was a similar conversation, and all the sure pollsters was. said, if you stand up against this stuff, you know, you're, you're going to lose because they're very, the stuff is very popular. And in fact, the person who stood up against that stuff won the election. That's right. All right. Uh, Mayor Nenshi, always a pleasure having you on. Thanks for joining us.